question on arithmetic progression where the sum of the first n terms of that AP is given in terms of n and you have to find the nth term over here. So if I put suppose 1 over here, if I find S1, isn't it 3 into 1 square minus 4 into 1? Now you see over here, we know the first term, we know the second term. Can we find the common difference guys? Because we know the formula. A n is equal to what guys? It is A1 plus n minus 1 into d. This will give us 6n minus 7. So here we have got a question on arithmetic progression where the sum of the first n terms of that AP is given in terms of n and you have to find the nth term over here. So you see Sn is, if Sn is given to be equal to 3n square minus 4n. So if I put suppose 1 over here, if I find S1, isn't it 3 into 1 square minus 4 into 1? Because whatever you are doing over here, you have to do the same thing on the other side of the equation as well. So S1 over here will be 3 minus 4, that is minus 1. Now what is S1 guys? Can I not say that sum of the first term of an AP is equal to the first term itself? So can I not say this is A1 only? In the same manner, can I find S2 over here guys? So S2 will be, I have to put 2 over here. So it is 3 into 2 square minus 4 into 2. So what is this equal to guys? This is 4 3s are 12 minus 4 2s are 8. So that is equal to 4 over here. I hope this is clear. Now what is S2? S2 means sum of the first two terms of an AP. Or can I say over here that it is nothing but A1 plus A2. So that is equal to 4 over here. Now A1 we already know that is equal to minus 1. So I can put minus 1 over here. So minus 1 plus A2 that is equal to 4. So can I not say that A2 or the second term of this AP will be equal to 5? Now you see over here, we know the first term, we know the second term. Can we find the common difference guys? Common difference will be nothing but A2 minus A1, right? And A2 over here is 5 and A1 over here is nothing but minus 1. So common difference is coming out to be 5 plus 1 that is equal to 6. I hope this is clear. So you see over here, we know the common difference, we know the first term of this AP. Can I not find the nth term of this AP? Because you know the formula. A n is equal to what guys? It is A1 plus n minus 1 into d. So A1 we already know over here that is minus 1 plus n minus 1 and d also we already know over here that is 6. So we can further simplify this minus 1 plus 6n minus 6. So this will give us 6n minus 7. So we can say that the nth term of this AP is 6n minus 7 if the sum of the first n terms of this AP is 3n square minus 4n. I hope this is clear to every student watching this video.